Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. My name is Jacob Toronto and today is Sunday, which means three things. Podcast, box office support, and movie of the week. I've already done the podcast that's available on our YouTube channel. I've already done the box office support, which is also available on our YouTube channel. Go check those out. Make sure to hit subscribe so every Sunday you're tuned into those. But now it is time to do the movie of the week. Um, this week I chose a really interesting movie. I know last week, um, you know, I'm still getting comments about choosing Mask of the Phantasm, which, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, which I think is one of the greatest animated films ever made. Seriously. Uh, an amazing picture. Um, I actually just got a, t a text, um, from a buddy who's watching it now because he's never seen it or hasn't seen it in a long time, which is exciting because, uh, I wish, wish people would see it for the first time and if they have seen it revisit it because it's totally worth great uh, it's a great revisit and it's a great movie and i think the older we get and, and and the more that we've seen watching something like that is even better because you'll really appreciate all that they did in that movie um but this movie is from 1984 this movie of the week is actually stranger than paradise a film by jim jarmash um now, this movie was made in 1984, and it's actually black and white, you know, you, as you can see here on the cover, um, one of the most iconic scenes from this picture. Uh, the movie follows um, Willie, who lives in New York and is visited by his young cousin, who's 16, Eva, who comes from Budapest, and it's about uh, them and Willie's friend Eddie who kind of just get in these mix of situations and it's just kind of watching them explore New York City and, and eventually more of the situations that they find themselves in um but this movie is seriously a great great classic it is available on Criterion unfortunately not on Blu-ray yet which really kind of sads me it actually took me a while I actually just recently picked this up um you know, but Criterion Collection, if you aren't familiar, is a great great company that puts out um a very collect a very select um, collection of DVDs and Blu-rays and things like that. So I'm sure a Blu-ray of this is coming soon. But uh, this is a movie I just could not pass up. Um, it kind of... This movie's really great in the sense of how it's shot and how it's filmed and how it feels. You know, Jim Jarmesh has gone on to talk about this movie a lot as it is one of his most iconic pictures. And he's never been able to kind of really explain how it... what it is and how it feels. I mean, it's kind of... Um, described as a series of uninterrupted shots. You know, if you read Roger Ebert's review of it, which I recommend you guys do, uh, after you see the movie, though. Um, always try to read reviews after you see something. I mean, I post reviews and I want you to read them, and if I could prevent you from seeing something bad, I'd like that. But most of my reviews, I want you to read and see my perspective of the picture that you've seen to see if you agree with me or disagree with me. Um, but all in all, like, if you read my review for Unfinished Business, and I'm like, don't you dare see this movie i hope you take that advice but nonetheless um roger ebert kind of went on to talk about how this movie i mean every scene sh um starts with a fade in and when a scene ends it fades out and then we fade it and i mean it's really really beautiful how it's shot and how, how it kind of handles its pacing and its tone um you have some really really great music in this picture um it's it's a really landscape movie it's a beautiful beautiful movie to watch because visually it being in black and white and the landscapes and and some of the uh, locations that they're shot in uh with the cinematography kind of makes this movie look like you're looking at an old photo album and it's funny it's it's really funny it, it feels like it's kind of never going anywhere but it's a ride you don't want to end it's a, it's a, you feel like you are on this journey with these three characters and though you're not really going anywhere fast it's one that you don't want to stop stranger than paradise 1984 jim jarmesh um i'm sure you could find it on hulu i don't know if i i, sh I should uh, figure this out before him but i'm sure you could find it on hulu uh maybe even on youtube or something but if you can i'd recommend seeing it of course on the highest quality possibility you can and right now i believe that is the criterion collection blue uh dvd uh since the uh blu-ray is not out yet but there's some really great features on here as well uh and i hope you take this recommendation but go ahead check it out find some stuff on it read a little bit about it but trust me this is a movie you're not going to want to miss and a great movie of the week uh stranger than paradise by jim jarmash let me know if uh, if you've seen this movie before. Comment below. Help me get some other people to watch it. And if you if you're watching this now, I'm not seeing it. Please 
try to find it, go watch this movie, and then come back here and comment. We'll actually have the discussion about this movie. I, I picked these movies so we could exactly why, so we could have conversations like this uh, about pictures and movies like this. So I really, really wish you'll do that. Also, make sure to hit the like video if you appreciate this movie of the week choice and share with all your friends. You can get them all to watch it. You guys can watch it and then have a dialogue about it. I mean, that's what ChasingCinema.com is about, is having a dialogue about movies, talking about motion picture, and talking about how powerful it could be. Uh, so yeah, do that, please. Hit like, share it, and have that discussion. Uh, like I said, though, each Sunday I'm talking, I, I talk about a movie of the week, I do a box office report cover, and I do a podcast, and all that, and more, actually. I talked about Spider-Man and Top Gun today on our YouTube channel. Make sure to hit subscribe, because each day I'm constantly uploading to this YouTube channel movie news, casting details, trailer reviews, everything each day I'm bringing it to you. So make sure to be a part of that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob Toronto, and please continue chasing cinema.